It's Kambada, the shaman, the god, the crack baby. And right now you're tuned in to Kofi's Universe, the number one and most truest source for hip hop news, reaction videos, sports, black culture, and much, much more. If you haven't already subscribed, hit that subscribe button now. Bada. YouTube salute. Freddie Gibbs comes out and says that his new album, SSS will be the best album of 2021. Let's talk about it. If you do to my channel, thumbs up the video. Hit the subscribe button. Click the bell icon to be notified when I upload new content and go live. Check out new album review from Tupac's Machiavelli, The Don Columinati, Seven Day Theory, 25th Anniversary Review. So, Freddie Gibbs says that so, so separately. Is going to be the best album of 2021. And he talks about the producers on the album. We have Mad Lib, Alchemist, Boy Wonder, Pharrell of the Neptunes, Jake One, DJ Paul, Justice League, Working on Dying, Seven Thomas, Tay Keith, Business Boy, and K Tranada. Those are the producers on SSS. He also said, I named the producers first because they established the vibe. I'll give you the features on the track list. Hashtag fuck academics. <laughs> That's funny as hell. So if you think about it, Banana that came out in 2019 was dope as hell, produced by Mad Lib. Alfredo, produced by The Alchemist, was, oh my God, that was probably top three, top four album of 2020 and 2019 too. Um, can I see this being better than King's Disease 2 from Nas? I don't know, man. Then you have La Machina by Conway the Machine, West Side Gun, um, Hitler Wears Hermes 8, um, Side A and B is dope as hell. So those are three albums right there that's already album of the year contender. Who else do we have um, that came out in 2021? Benny the Butcher, Plugs I Met 2 came out. Anybody else I can think of? I mean, I'm just saying as far as like that's made a, a huge impact in 2021 with their album um, being released. Those are the only albums I can think of right now. I mean, I know there's some other albums that um somebody has dropped i'm just not saying off the top so bear with me i'm not doing nothing intentionally y'all okay um you still got uh, oh excuse me j cole j cole album that came out you know what i'm saying j that that was that's the album of the year um album of the year contender you still got k dot kendrick lamar supposed to drop his album this year or maybe january 2022 pusher t supposed to drop his album Produced by Kanye West and Pharrell. Drake had an album. I didn't really care for it. Kanye West dropped the album. I didn't really care for it. I'm just naming albums now. So people can, you know, out here and decipher it. And you can tell me what you think. Um, we even have some EPs come out. We have stuff from um, Ransom. He drops a project. I believe Reason dropped a project or EP too. Um... That's all I can think of right now. Like I said, if, if there's anybody I, I miss, please. Oh, Dave. Um, Santan Dave from the UK dropped the album. Gets. Gets. Yeah, he dropped the autobiography. That was dope. It said one of my favorite albums of this year. And Bugsy Malone from the UK. So check those albums out when you get a chance. And Freddie Gibbs also said that his next rap album, which is SSS, might be his last He's going back to R&B. Um, he said that's what he feels like doing. Um, he don't really feel like putting out no rap album moving forward. R&B is what I started out doing before all the rap shit. Now all of you niggas just want to make me rap all day and I don't want to rap. I want to go back to my roots. I tried to get signed as an R&B singer in 2004, but every label in the world denied me. So I had to do rap to get in the door. I trick y'all niggas into thinking I was a rapper. The Alfredo, um, he joked about, you know, putting out Alfredo. He learned to rap so good. And like he said, he might do that. 
And he said, to give y'all a little taste, check out the single he put out, Gang Signs, featuring Schoolboy Q. He said, um, that's not a rap song, that's R&B. I snuck it on you niggas and you love it. Um, snuck it in there and you was like, Freddie Gibbs talking his shit. But um, as far as SSS, I'm excited to hear this album. Definitely want to hear it, see what's going to happen. And he's going to be actually slated to perform at the Day in Vegas in Austin City Limits Musical Festivals next month in December, y'all. So just give me y'all a little taste. Y'all let me know, can Freddie Gibbs have album of the year 2021? Who you got album of the year so far? And I will be doing a poll soon to see who got the best album of the year. We're going to talk about it, all right? Post your comments below. Hoax Smash, Black Panther, the like button, subscribe to my channel. Click the bell icon to be notified when I upload new content and go live. If you want to support and donate to the channel, I have Patreon, patreon.com slash Kofi Universe. Venmo, Cash App, PayPal, Streamlabs, everything's in the description. Until next time, salute. If you're looking for me to react to any song freestyle video, that's $20 per reaction. For sponsorships, that's $50 minimum. Also, hoax smash, Black Panther, the like button, subscribe to the channel. Click the bell icon to be notified when I upload new content and go live. Also, if you want to become a Patreon member, patreon.com slash Kofi Universe. Venmo, Cash App, PayPal, Streamlabs, everything's in the description, y'all. Salute.